It is 7.34 and our in-depth coverage of Primary Day in Rhode Island continues now. Joining us live in studio this morning, our Secretary of State, Nellie Gorbea. Good morning to you. Good morning. This isn't going to be a busy day for you or anything, yeah, is it? No, no just another day in the life <laughs> of a Secretary of State. So what does your day entail? I mean, you pretty much go everywhere today, right? We do, we do. We go and basically we're looking at see, to see how things are being deployed. Are there any issues? Um, you know, we have... Uh, constant communication with local boards of canvassers, with the Board of Elections, and expecting a great day. It's wonderful weather for it. Absolutely, yeah, no complaints about the weather. People should be able to head to the polls, no problem. But tell us about these new voting machines. That, that's going to be something new for voters as they head to the ballot uh, booths this morning. It is, and yet it'll seem very familiar because you're still going to get a paper ballot. Mm -hmm. You're simply going to fill an oval instead of connecting an arrow, which everybody has done probably in the face of the planet at this point. So once you fill out the, your, your ovals, you will then put it into a scanner. Uh, and the machines do have a, a screen that will tell you when your vote is accepted and you walk out. It's very easy. From what I understand, though, this is, these are designed to help uh, eliminate voter error, right? Because the machine will tell you if you didn't do it correctly, which That's is something right. that we didn't have in the past, right? That is correct. It will actually, if, particularly if you overvote, it will say you've overvoted in these races. Would you like to cast your ballot or do you want it back? Okay, tell us more about this uh, Voter Information Center, too. Yes, uh, if you have any questions as to where you're going to go vote, uh, what your ballot looks like, you want to, you know, election should not be a pop quiz. You should really look at it ahead of time and just know what you're doing. Yeah. So you can do that in the comfort of your home, you can do it in line, you can go to go vote.ri.gov, put in your name, your date of birth, and your zip code, and the system will find you, and then you'll tell you exactly where you're going to go vote. It'll give you the hours of your polling place. It's a really rich uh, web page. Okay, good to know. Uh, we were talking to our political analyst, Joe Fleming, earlier about the expected turnout. It is expected to be fairly low today, possibly historically low. Yeah, it, I, you know, as your Secretary of State, I don't like to hear that. I, know. I, I, I mean, we've worked really hard uh, with this, and it's, you know, it's the only place where you can see the new voting machines today. So I would welcome everybody, you want, you're curious about what they look like, mm -hmm. go to your polling place today. We're ready for you. Anything else voters need to know before they head to the polls today? As far as, uh, they, do they all close at 8 o'clock tonight? They do all close at 8 o'clock, and if you're in line at 8 o'clock, you should be able to uh, vote. Remember, there is a photo ID requirement. Um, I will say this, though, you know, we have provisional ballots. So if for some reason you get to the polling place, you forgot that you changed purses, you don't have your, your ID for whatever reason, mm -hmm. ask for a provisional ballot. No one will be turned away. You can go out and vote. Just get to the polling place. All right, plenty of hours left to do so. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. And if you would like more campaign coverage, just head to our website, WPRI.com.